Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX Show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode will once again be mostly Starship updates with the exception of Starlink 6. We have Boca Chica, SM4, SM5 and Elon Musk updates, so let's head straight in and get up to date. Starting with Starlink 6, this is not so much news as it is an expectation. Of Course I Still Love You was filmed leaving Port Canaveral in order to go and position itself for the booster landing of this mission. These barges have to go out a few days prior to launch because they take so long to get out to the landing zone. On the same Starlink 6 note, the launch has been pushed up by a day and will now launch April 22nd at 7.37pm UTC or 3.37pm EDT. SpaceX tweeted that this was due to more favourable weather on Wednesday as opposed to Thursday. Next, Elon Musk has replied to some more tweets to give us even more information. When asked about the next steps for Starship, Musk said fully reusable orbital rocket, then orbital refilling and then Mars. He was also asked how testing and research is going for orbital refueling. He responded with SpaceX has a lot of experience berthing and now docking with the ISS which is very difficult. Orbital refilling should in theory be easier since Starships dock with themselves and will be uncrewed at first. Later in this video you'll see what is being referred to here but Musk was also asked a bunch of things about the heat shield. He responded saying they are mechanically attached to steel studs, insulation is certainly the intention. Another thing he also confirmed is that he hopes to see humans on Mars this decade. He also hopes it will inspire and get people excited for the future again just like Apollo did in the 60s and 70s. That's all of Elon Musk's tweets for now so let's see what's happening over in Boca Chica. Cameron County have now released road and beach closures in preparation for the fast approaching SM4 testing as you can see here. I'm expecting that first there will be a pressure test as usual, then a static fire and if the rocket is still alive maybe even a hop, but doubt that these dates are for all of those tests. The roll lift has also recently seen some action as it is being prepared to get it ready for transporting the prototype to the test area. Also, over at the test area, engineers have been doing further work to prepare the test stand for the arrival and testing of the SM4 vehicle. As you can see here it's had a paint job and the hydraulic rams have been reattached. Other stuff going on by the test stand, the former SM3 thrust section has also finally been removed. Not sure what they were doing with it but it spent quite a while over at the launch area being worked on. One more thing over at the launch area is Starhopper which as you can see here is starting to fall apart. Over in the construction area there is a new tent going up and it looks the same as the old ring tent so my guess is that's what it is. Also, over in the construction yard is the new hangar looking building which is nearing completion. However, there is still no indication as to its purpose so I'm still trying to guess what it will be used for. Most of you will have seen these engines from a previous video but the Raptors have been spotted in their onion tent. You can see here a bent ring was spotted. I'm not sure what happened to it but I wonder if they can reuse these rings in any way or if they just have to be scrapped. You can see here a ring being moved into the same onion tent as the SM4 thrust section was constructed, most likely for SM5. Also, a ring was spotted moving into the tent next to this tent so it looks like they've got a bunch of SM5 sections being built in various locations. I also want to show you some other rings in the yard before we move on to SM4 and SM5. You can see here a ring numbered 136, I guess they are numbering the rings so they can keep track of what belongs to what. Also ring number 135 and 118 were spotted moving around as well and with SM4 basically done and parts of SM5 spotted I want to assume that these might be for SM6. Now let's move on to SM4 which we saw last episode as being fully stacked. Obviously there's no slowing down anytime soon as engineers have continued work on the vehicle in preparation for the testing. Engineers have attached heat shield tiles for testing whilst they also test the vehicle itself. They've attached them to multiple locations on the SM4 tank section. Here you can see the heat shield tiles have been attached to the methane tank but not sure what they are doing up there. My only guess as to why they've been attached to the top is for aerodynamic testing which reinforces the assumption that SM4 will fly. Also attached to the bottom and on the SM3 thrust section there are some more of those tiles. Upon closer inspection it looks as though those bottom tiles have been attached using different methods. I'm guessing that they are testing which is the best method to use for attaching them to the rocket if nothing else. There's no point showing the latest build diagram since it's unchanged so now let's move on to SM5 before we wrap up this episode. Further work has been done to prepare the SM5 upper bulkhead and ring segments. Also these rings were spotted sitting near the nose cone as of April 19th and they appear to be stacked and welded. Maybe these could be for SM4 as a few rings remain between the nose cone and tank section but that's also assuming that SM4 will get a nose. 
It feels a bit too early to be seeing SN6 sections, so I'm going to guess that these are for either SN5 or maybe for SN4. Elsewhere, these SN5 ring segments were spotted spinning in an onion tent. Here is some time lapse footage. These unspecified parts also recently arrived and by the looks of them they appear to be parts of bulkheads. As you may remember, Musk previously tweeted about flattening the bulkhead so not sure if these are related to that. As always, massive thanks to Mary Bugachika Girl for going out there and capturing amazing footage once again and to NASA Spaceflight for sharing it with us all. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.